Hello and welcome to Sniply. Today I'm going to cover one of the most highly requested subject that I've received so far, and that is how do you set up retargeting with Sniply links? How do you set up your remarketing campaign so you can target people who have visited your Sniply links before? And for those who are unfamiliar with remarketing, I'm just going to give you a brief introduction. Here's an infographic. When a visitor visits your website, a remarketing tag allows you to tag the person who's visited your website so that even after they leave, you can show them your ads as they're browsing through platforms like Google or Facebook. And in essence, this allows you to focus your resources on showing ads to people who have already visit, visited your website, already aware of your brand, instead of showing ads to people who have never heard of you before. And it's uh, often regarded as a very effective method for optimizing your ads because you can really focus your efforts on people who are most likely to convert. And that's how remarketing works. And traditionally, you can only remarket to people who have visited your website. That's how retargeting usually works. But with Sniply, you can do something totally different. You can use remarketing campaigns and target people who have clicked on the links that you shared. Even if they're not links to your own website, for example, if you're just sharing blog posts or industry news, you can tag those people and include them into your custom audience. So if you're using any kind of remarketing campaigns, Sniply can really help you boost your remarketing efforts and build that audience through content curation. So let me show you how it works. The first thing you want to do is to dive straight into your Sniply dashboard and under Manage Brand Profiles, you want to select the brand that you're doing remarketing for. So in this case, I'm in the Happy Company brand, is, uh, which is the brand profile we set up in a previous tutorial where I went over how you can set up brand profiles. Uh, and you'll see different options here in the brand page. One of the options is Retargeting Pixel. This is where we're going to arm the brand profile with your remarketing tag. And this will allow every Sniply link created using this brand profile to tag people who click on the links that you're sharing. And so the little gear icon is what we want to press on and it will open up a very simple text box. This is where we're going to insert the retargeting tag. And depending on what platform you're using, you're going to be able to acquire this tag in different ways. Take, for example, Facebook ads, which is one of the more popular ad platforms. What you want to do is to set up a campaign. I'm just going to use uh, send people to your website as an example. In step two of the Facebook ad creation experience, you'll see a section for audience. So audience is the one that remarketing is responsible for. It's to populate the custom audience um, uh, to, to, def to be defined as people who have visited your links before. And so you want to define a new audience. And uh, there's a little link here you see, it says create new custom audience. So if you don't already have a remarketing audience set up, that's what you want to do. If you already have it set up, it's much easier. So let me just click that and it will show you different options. So let's just do website traffic, create a list of people who visit, uh, who visit your website or view specific web pages, click on that and you will see uh, this create audience panel and on the left bottom corner here there's this little gear icon that's what you want to press on and there's an option called view pixel code and you click on view pixel code Facebook ads is going to give you this code and it looks like this within a script tag you want to copy this just uh, copy that drop it over to the Snipply dashboard back here in the text box that I showed you earlier under the brand profile you want to paste that in so this is the Facebook pixel code. Now it's completed. If I press save right here, now all of my Snipply links under this brand profile is gonna include this Facebook pixel code. So when people click on my links, the links that I share, they are gonna be tagged and join into the custom audience, which I can then uh, send, uh, I can then show ads to people who have visited the links that I've shared. And that's how you acquire the Facebook tag and put it into Snipply. And you can actually include multiple remarketing tags into your Snipply link, so it doesn't have to be just one. If you click on the gear icon, you can access this anytime, and you can paste more pixels or more remarketing tags just under it. So to give you an example, uh, there's a different process involved for Google. Let me show you how that works. So uh, with Google Ads, you want to be able to log in, and on the left-hand side, you're going to see an option for shared library. Uh, click on shared library and you'll see 
an option for audience. So under shared library audience, that's where you're gonna find the remarketing code or the remarketing tag for Google AdWords. And then the uh, big red button here will allow you to create new marketing, uh, new remarketing lists or remarketing audience as some people call it. And in the right top corner, you'll see tag details. When you click on tag details, that's gonna do something similar to what we saw earlier in Facebook. It's gonna give you this code and make sure uh, there's two tabs here. There's details, which is gonna show you the activity of the tag, and there's setup, which is gonna show you the actual code. So setup is the one where you're gonna be able to find this script tag, and you can do a very similar thing. You just wanna copy and paste that into your brand profile in Snipply, and then uh, all of your Snipply links will then contain both the Facebook remarketing ad, uh, uh, the Facebook remarketing pixel, and also the Google AdWords pixel thus populating both custom audiences at the same time. And you can also add Twitter remarketing tags, LinkedIn ads remarketing tags in a very similar fashion. And you can very easily Google how to get the remarketing tag from each different ad platform as they're all slightly different. So you saw just now Facebook ads and Google ads are slightly different process to getting the tag. But at the end of the day, what you wanna do is to be able to put that tag in here. And once again, that's under brand profiles, you wanna select your brand and under retargeting pixel, that little gear icon is gonna pull up the text box where you can paste in the pixel. So there you have it. This is how you can add remarketing tags into your Snipply links so that you can retarget people who visit the links you share, not just the websites, uh, not just visitors of your website. You can target people who are, uh, who are visiting the links that you share to third-party content. So you can essentially build custom audiences for retargeting campaigns through content curation. And that's it for today. I will certainly be back with more videos, so keep your requests coming and I'll be able to I'll be sure to cover as many subjects as I can through these video tutorials. Thank you for watching.